In February, a bipartisan majority of state reps passed legislation to make New Hampshire a cannabis control state, selling its own tax-free marijuana at 10 storefronts statewide. Supporters say the first $25 million in net revenue would fund drug treatment. After that, 90 percent would be put toward cutting the statewide education property tax. Authors of the bill are predicting a significant annual windfall. I would anticipate it would come in around 250 to 300 million at a low point. House Bill 1598 is now back in committee as lawmakers dig deep into the financial side of the legislation. And there is skepticism hanging over projections of hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue. There's really nothing in the bill that explains why they think they could uh, outcompete the commercial enterprises in Massachusetts and attract buyers, our buyers and their buyers from there. There's also the problem of navigating the legal and financial risk of getting the state into an enterprise that is still illegal. Technically, we are going to ask state employees to, to violate federal law. And that, that's a bit of an issue that we have to address. Supporters of this legislation say if the federal government was going to start targeting cannabis in the states, it would have done so already where it's been legalized. Rather than landing state employees in court, they believe this New Hampshire model could spur the Congress to follow the will of the people. I think sometimes the state needs to put pressure on the federal government. So this is a way of moving that forward, right? By the state moving and saying our citizens want this, we start putting pressure on the federal government and forcing them to take action. In Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.